settle in. And by now you should know where your spot is that you tend to stay focused. Well, go straight there. What kind of breathing feels good? You should know that too. Do that right now. All too often we let the mind just gradually settle in. You have five minutes, you give it five minutes to settle in. You have half an hour, you give it half an hour to settle in. So it finally arrives only toward the end. That's the narrative that a lot of us have. You have to change the narrative. The narrative is, settle in right now, stay right here, and then stay. It's like telling a dog to stay. It'll stay for a few minutes, and then it'll start getting antsy, want to move. But your mind is not a dog, your mind is a human mind. And you should be able to reason with yourself to remind yourself, hey, we're here to learn a, a skill, the skill of staying in place. The mind is so good at wandering, jumping around. It can jump huge dis distances in just a short period of time. In a flash of an eye, it can go from this galaxy to another galaxy. But when you tell it to stay for five minutes, it tends to rebel. It doesn't know what to do with itself. The thing is, it doesn't have to do anything much. Just stay in place, stay with one thing. And even though nothing new may seem to be happening, you're still learning a skill. The skill of stillness. It's only when the mind is still that it can really see things clearly. It's only when it's still that it can do refined work. You probably notice if you do have to do something delicate like threading a needle, you tend to hold your breath. So you can focus on that tiny little hole and that tiny little end of the thread. In well, the same way, if you want to see things in the mind, you have to hold the mind in place. You get used to being here, and then when there are subtle movements of the mind, you can see them a lot more clearly. And when you see them early on like that, you can have a good idea of where they're coming from. Because as the Buddha said, the reason we're suffering is not because of things outside. The world can be a mess, but the mind doesn't have to suffer. But the problem is sometimes the world is actually okay, but we're suffering already. We have to look into that. Where does this come from in the mind? This ability to make yourself suffer, even though you don't want to. What's going on? You're not paying careful attention. That's the problem. So pay careful attention right here, and then be willing to stay right here. Feed the mind with good breath energy, so it feels good to be here. And learn some patience. All too many people get the mind quiet just a little bit, and they say, okay, what's next? Well, the quietness is what's next. Just keep on going. And as you keep on going this way, the insights will come at their own pace, at their own rhythm. And those are the insights you really want. So all you have to do is prepare the ground, get the mind to settle down, and then have it content to stay right here with nothing much happening, aside from the fact that it is getting rested and it is learning this skill of not getting pushed around easily by the slight whispers of thoughts that come in the mind. See the value of that skill, and it'll be a lot easier to stay.